Here is a piece of wire, and we're interested in finding resistance at 20 degrees Celsius and at another temperature of 700 degrees Celsius. Well, let's write our two equations for this resistance is equal to rho L divided by A. Now my rho looks more like a P there, but it really is a Greek letter rho. And then what about the resistance at a different temperature? Resistance is equal to R naught, which is going to be our value here. I guess I can put R naught there, means it's at 20 degrees Celsius. Multiplied by 1 plus alpha. P2 minus P1. Close that bracket there. Now rho is the resistivity coefficient, which is listed right here. Rho is 1.7 times 10 to the minus 8 ohm meters. Okay, and this is a piece of copper wire. And alpha, this is our temperature resistivity coefficient, which is 0 0.0039, our reciprocal degrees Celsius. Okay, let's get the stats of this wire here. We have 200 meters, and the radius is 0.15 millimeters. So let's find the resistance at basically room temperature at 25 degrees Celsius. So R0 is going to equal our row value of 1.7 times 10 to the minus 8. We'll multiply that by the length of the wire, 200 meters. And divided by the cross-sectional area, now if you take a cross-sectional area of that, it of course will be a circle for a wire, and area is equal to pi r squared for a circle. So we're going to multiply this by pi times radius. Now that's millimeters, so I have to go 0 0.00015 and then square it. Okay, our beginning resistance at 20 degrees is going to be 48 ohms. And now we want to convert that to a new temperature of 700 degrees. So I'm going to say my resistance now is going to equal my beginning resistance at 20 degrees. Multiply by 1 plus my alpha, which is 0 0.0039. Multiply by 700 minus 20. And we'll close that. Okay, and our resistance now is going to equal 175 ohms. Okay, now you might wonder, you know, why is this 20 degrees? Well, the value provided from our chart is the 20 degree value that it listed here as 20 degrees as well. So we just increase it to 700 and then get 175 ohms.